Well, thanks, Catherine. And hello, everyone. Welcome to day two of Beacon 2021. I'm so grateful that you're able to join us today, and it's my pleasure to be able to kick off day two of this event. My name is Tochi Nwachiku, and I'm a product manager in the local application platform team. Um, over the next 15 to 20, maybe 25 minutes, I'll do a brief dive into our existing local embedded uh, analytics functionality, uh, how companies are able to leverage our platform features to transcend traditional BI and are able to infuse data into their operational workflows and applications. So before we dive into some of the tools and all the cool things that we have on the Looker platform, it's important to understand why. We know that growth is a top priority for a lot of companies and companies are consistently looking into ways through which they can drive growth. Some of the key drivers of this growth are, you know, looking to have an increased customer focus, going through a product or service transformation, or just generating new sources of revenue. By going beyond BI, companies can basically transform their businesses and, and, and drive growth in so many ways. This could be indirect monetization areas, allowing them to differentiate their products from competitors, drive innovation, or introduce time and cost efficiencies by deriving new products and services. Before we proceed, it'd be good to take a quick look at the Looker platform. And we've seen a little bit of this in day one. Looker is very unique with its in-database architecture. What that means is you don't have any additional data movement or storage and our customers have access to all the underlying data, so you don't have cubes or aggregates. And then you have our semantic modeling layer, which allows our customers to define standard business logic across their business. And then most importantly for our session today, it's important to understand that Looker is cloud, has cloud-native functionality, which means it's 100% web-based and allows for API extensibility and the creation of un unlimited data experiences. Basically what this means is that our customers can do everything from simply visualizing their data using our dashboards, out of the box functionality, all the way to creating tailored, tailored bespoke custom experiences that are customized to their data needs. In summary, it's very important to understand that Looker is so much more than BI. BI is one of our very important and core tools and features, but we do offer so much more. And customers are able to leverage the tools that we provide that are more than out of the box functionality to be able to take advantage of all the possibilities they see in their data. And this brings us to Looker Embedded Analytics. Basically, you might be wondering, what is Looker Embedded Analytics? Looker Embedded Analytics is basically our suite of tools that allows our customers to leverage the Looker platform to power applications and workflows outside Looker BI. Let's look at some embedded analytics tools. At a high level, we have three core platform features that Looker offers. We have our embedding with iframes, we have our RESTful APIs, and then we have the extension framework. iframes basically allow our customers to embed almost any object from Looker. It could be our dashboards, single viz, or explore screens into any application. And then we also have our RESTful API that allows our customers to get data and perform tasks. And then finally, the extension framework, which allows our customers to execute JavaScript right on Looker, right on the Looker platform, extend Looker's functionality, and host their applications on Looker. Each of these platform features has its own corresponding SDKs, and it's also available in multiple different languages. It's available in Ruby, Python, and TypeScript. Let's take a look at some types of applications. Um, when our customers leverage the Looker platform, they can, they can use that to build a standalone application, or they can use it to build applications, as we mentioned, right on Looker. In the standalone application case, our customers are basically leveraging our, our iframes and our APIs uh, to build applications for you know, extended use cases or workflows. Um, and in this case, sometimes they might be using the embed SDK or API SDK. They might be using this together or you know, alone. And then you have the extension application, which is basically client-side only, 
lives right inside of Looker, and it can also you can also leverage your iframes and APIs as well. Uh, zooming in individually into each of these tools, uh, we'll start with embedding. Looker provides two types of embedding at a high level. You have private embedding, which basically allows our customers to embed Looker content and specify that a Looker login is required. This means that once the iPhone loads, um, users are prompted to log in with their Looker account. And then we also have SSO embedding, which is single sign-on embedding. Um, it's basically a way to pre present private embedded explorers, dashboards, and LookML dashboards to users without having them you know, log in with their Looker accounts. Um, instead, the way our developers will do this is they implement this type of embedding if they prefer that users are authenticated through their own application. So at a high level here, our customers do have authentication options when they embed their iframes or use Looker embedded, embedded functionality. And then we have our APIs. The Looker APIs is secure, it's a RESTful API and allows our customers to manage the Looker instance, fetch data through the Looker platform. And then with our Looker API, you can write applications uh, or automation scripts uh, to provision Looker accounts. You can use our APIs to run queries, schedule reports, and so on and so forth. Just about anything that you can do right on Looker, you can do with our APIs. Remember we talked about uh, Looker being 100% um, web-based and API first, we take that very seriously. With our APIs, you have a simplified experience for building tailored experiences. Uh, we have SDKs, as we mentioned, I mean, Python, J uh, Ruby, JavaScript, TypeScript, and Kotlin. We have full support for managing authentication. We have our UI components, which are the building blocks to create rich customization and visual experiences. And then we have the API Explorer, helper, helper functions, and more. So one of the most recent enhancements and one of the things that we just recently launched this year was the extension framework. It's a powerful new development framework that allows our developers to deploy their JavaScript applications right on the Looker platform. So our customers don't need DevOps or infra to host the experience. Uh, customers can basically use their application and take advantage of the full power of Looker. When you're building on the extension framework, you can leverage our APIs, you can leverage our SDKs, you can also leverage the components for building the experiences. Um, and then you can also leverage Looker's permissions and authentication. This has allowed our customers to take what is months of development time and transform that into days or weeks. With all these platform tools and contexts, let's zoom out again. What you can see is the Looker platform is a secure API-first platform, sits right on top of your database or your data warehouse, and then it allows you to ingest business data, customer data, business insights, and then you can define, transform, curate that data for your various needs. This could be to create more intelligent workflows, custom data applications, or connected workflow solutions. And then by doing all of that, well, all the things we talked about in the last slide, uh, some of the results you see are real-time solutions that you can feed into multi-device applications. And what you see here, I know we've touched on this in day one, is just a fraction of what is possible. Customers can build modern data analytics applications. It could be things like an insights portal or an embedded reporting system, a data explorer, uh, tracking and monitoring systems, for example or systems for operational analytics or streaming analytics, all powered by the Looker platform. Let's look at some examples. We'll start with Wix. So Wix basically helps their customers create, manage, and grow their business online by building and managing their own websites without coding. They serve over 200 million users across 190 countries and 31 different languages. And even though, though they had built a leading website uh, building platform, they knew they couldn't stop there. It was very clear to them that data analytics was going to play a very key role in their customer growth, and they had to invest in analytics for their customers. 
they leverage the Looker platform to embed analy analytics within their, in their their product. And by doing in, in doing this, they didn't need to start from scratch. They were able to bring reporting capabilities to millions of customers using our iframe and embedding features, which has helped them grow their business. Next up is Fox. Fox is a media company that processes and distributes content through Fox News, Fox Sports, Fox Broadcast Network, and Fox Local Television. Their, their vision from, from a data standpoint was just basically to have an insights-driven org that is powered by data and analytics to support the dynamics need, dynamic needs of their business. They had some challenges, though, and, and some of these challenges they wanted to address were basically modernizing their, 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 their infrastructure um, and their systems to be able to move from traditional forms of reporting and analytics. They also wanted to build trust with their data uh, and you know, allow for their data to be used by a wider user base that can consume their data directly. And then finally, they wanted to be able to create automation and standardization to surface key metrics and predictions to users in real time. Using our, our platform and our APIs, what, what Fox was able to do is they were able to create purpose-built apps that infuse data into operational workflows and their operational products. Uh, they also built their first data product in less than three months. And they, and, you know, after that first product, they built nine more products within one year. And then finally, they were able to now surface insights and create a personalized experience that made it easier for their users to digest and take action. It's really exciting stuff. The summary here is that the Looker platform offers a unified surface for companies to access their data. And then with this unified view into the business, anything is possible. Looker customers can then choose and design and create all these dynamic data experiences and deliver data in ways that make sense to their various data needs. I'll summarize with some takeaways. Embed Analytics and Looker allows customers to do more than just visualizing data. It allows them to transcend BI and go beyond BI and then create extended data experiences and workflows. With our platform, customers can leverage our embedded functionality, some of the things we looked at today, with various options. You could do private embedding or SSO embedding. They can also leverage our robust APIs. APIs allows you to do anything that you could do on the local platform through the APIs. Or they can leverage the extension framework by significantly reducing the development time and hosting the application uh, right on the Looker platform. All of these tools enable our customers with uh, flexibility and the options to be able to create data experiences that go beyond just the BI use cases. So if you want to see some more specific details on the developer tools we talked today, talk about today, uh, in addition to samples or examples, all of that information is available on our new developer portal at developers.looker.com. And then later today, we'll also have more sessions that dive in deeper into some of the things that I've discussed today. But if you can't wait, please also feel free to visit looker.com slash products slash embedded dash analytics. Thank you.